All right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be reacting to something that happened at Delta and somebody got put in their place. So we be back, man. Who raised you? was crazy oh my god uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves you know that's why they have parents oh eat each other what yo i yeah, can't I understand know. it neither i'm just ahead of her oh yeah man sketch pad we back hey man listen man like share subscribe we had eleven thousand eleven hundred almost eleven thousand 1200 subscribers or whatever we almost there so help us out we trying to get to a million but look um youtube has demonetized our channel if you would like to donate to the sketch pad finally the cash apps are up you know what i'm saying right there and right there if you want to donate if not you know what i'm saying if you just want to donate a dollar it's cool if you don't want to donate a dollar we fine with that too just share the content we cool with that so let's get into this interaction with a delta worker and a trans activist so let's get it and what about when an adult employee misgenders you I'm intentionally so while she's talk while he's talking you're talking you just misgendered me again okay multiple times gotcha. both of you have sorry wasn't intentional but if you yeah. want to take it personal that's also well, open. she did do it intentionally twice. Oh, you talking to me too. You said she, and then you said he. You're being condescending, and if you want to continue, Ooh. I have full authority escort you out the building right this moment. If you want to play that game with me, okay. Would you like to continue three days before Christmas? I really don't mind. I'm good. I'll just put this on. God damn. Mm. Listen, that's how you put somebody in their place. That right there, you you he needs a raise. You gotta get that guy a raise. That guy deserves a raise. If you wanna be condescending, I'll have Porter Doherty exec just ex escort you out right now. Simple as that. Because you basically you playing this game as if people are doing it on purpose. You look like a man. How can somebody misgender you? You look like a man, bro. You didn't come up and say, hey, listen, I'm a female. Oh, she did it on purpose. See, people, see, look, this, this is what I'm going to say, man. And I know y'all, a lot of y'all going to hate me for this. I don't care. Listen, man. Most of you trans activists and most of you people who identify as by non-binary and all this y'all up stuck up snobby obnoxious bitches motherfuckers i don't even know what to say but that's what it is y'all some snobby obnoxious uppity like you got a broomstick stuck up your ass motherfuckers man simple as that you expect people to know what you are doing nobody knows society is working one way so if society lives one way most people don't know that you identify as a female if you look like a fucking man if you look like a man you can't get mad at somebody for saying that you are not a female that's just the bottom line i don't understand why people don't accept that just like you gotta accept them saying that they are female you have to accept that people might they might misgender you because you look like a man. I just yeah, don't get sorta, it. Yeah, uh, it's sort of like it's sort of like when uh, when you get when you uh, remember, like uh, if you answer the phone, and your voice might be kind of squeaky, so you might sound like a girl, or your voice might be kind of deep, so you might sound like a man. 
but really you're a woman or really you're a female, vice versa. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. You know, you'll call your 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 answer phone be like, hello. It could be you, you, you a man, but your voice, your voice sound feminine. You know what I'm saying? But you a man. And they might say, Oh, hello, ma'am. May I talk to such and such? And then oh, you get offended. But how would I know that you're a man if you know what I'm saying? If I can't see your face and you're uh you're speaking on the phone, but your voice sounds very feminine, like you know, it's almost like question. that. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. If you was walking in the store, you was walking in the store and you let's say you you was in my way and I try to get around you and I say, excuse me, sir. And you turned around and said, I'm not a sir. I'm a ma'am. Could you really get mad at me for thinking that you. You. S. Purdue. What could you get mad at me for thinking that you were a man? No, nah, because it's a it's an honest it's an honest mistake. Like you're not in my head. So how could how could you know that oh I identify as this when you don't even know what I'm thinking? On top of that, if you if you're trying to get past me, you probably didn't even you probably didn't even see me. You know what I mean? Clearly enough to see, oh, I identify as this. Or it could be you seen me, but your your interpretation is different from mine or whatever. But look, so if really, this, listen, yeah. this is what I'm saying to you. You look like a man. I, there's but no that's what I'm interpretation. Saying. Like, I can't that, interpret but, but that, nothing else if you look like a man. Now, look, I'm talking about I'm talking about how you look right now. If you had on a oh. dress, let's say you had mm -hmm. on a dress and you had makeup on with heels and you look like that right now. I wouldn't say, I would not say, excuse me, sir, because obviously you identify as a woman because you're dressed like a woman. Yeah. Right. But if you're not, yeah, but yeah, if I'm not dressed like, if I'm not dressed like no woman, you know what I'm saying? And I'm dressed like this, but I'm identifying as, uh, as the opposite sex, then you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. So your characteristics mm -hmm. is S right now. If if I bring any guy down these steps in front of this camera and say, is that a man or a woman without you saying nothing? What do you think they're going to say? Nine, say it's a man. All of them are going to say that's a man. It's right. A man. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this is my issue with trans activists. These mm -hmm. people believe that you are supposed to know. This is why I say that anybody that supports that movement has a mental disorder of some kind. Because if you're telling me that I'm supposed to know that you identify as something and I'm society has told me that this as Purdue is a man. Beard. Most men got beards, mustache, glasses, big hands, broad shoulders. You identify as a man, but you identify as a woman. But you tell me that I'm supposed to know that you identify as something else. Yeah, like, there, there's no, there's, you're not, how are you going to know that? You how don't you know that. Am I, am, I, am, I wearing, am I wearing a name tag? Am I wearing a name tag? So, oh yeah, I identify as this. No, you're not gonna know that. You're not gonna know that unless but, I tell you. But, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. It's yeah, it's similar. It's similar to uh, it's similar to um, that uh, one video. I don't know if we put the video out or not, but it's similar to that one video where where the uh, the girl, the girl or whatever went was out and about. And um, and uh, I think the people in there got mad at her, or she got mad because she, you know, those uh, what do they call them, the pronouns or whatever, the mm -hmm. him, him, 
yeah. her, whatever. And yeah. it was a whole, it was a whole misconception with that and whatever mm -hmm. because she, she, uh, she didn't, she, I guess she said the pronouns wrong or she said so, something along those lines. I can't remember the whole thing, but my point is that you're not going to know that. You're not mm -hmm. going to know that that's what I identify as. If you're looking right at me and see that I'm a man, but then when you say, call me a uh, sir, then I get upset because I identify as a woman, but how are you going to know that? So yeah, you, you're, you're absolutely correct. They, they, they yeah, a, a lot right. of, a lot of these activists, they're just what they are. They're activists and any chance they get, they want to flex. That's it. They don't really care if you misgender them. They just want to flex because they know that society, most people in this type of society is going to, uh, how would I say, uh, they're going to, they're going to side with them. They're going to say, Oh, you were the victim. He should have never misgendered you. That wasn't fair. That wasn't right. He should have asked first before he said, man, or sir. Why? The, 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 the whole factor, the whole fact of the matter is that, you know, like, okay, you identify as what you identify. That's all cool. But if a person misidentifies you and they don't do it purposely, you can't get offended. Simple as that. You can't get offended. You know, after all, after all, like, after all, you are, you are changing your whole outlook. You're changing your whole outlook. No one, no one knows what you're doing. No one is, is with you in the privacy of your own home telling you or seeing what you're doing and saying, oh yeah, that's a woman. Oh yeah, that's a man. No, no one knows that. So it, it so the best way to do it is just, just, you know, just brush it off your shoulders and keep it moving. Otherwise than that, otherwise than that, I don't see why they should be getting offended over that thing because it's it's really not man, that serious listen, man i really don't want to say what i really feel because i know a lot of people would be mad at me i'm just saying bro like i really don't want to say i really feel about it <coughs> i'm just saying man like, i'm just saying be who you want to be but you can't expect me to believe who you are when i know the truth that's all i'm gonna say i won't disrespect you but i'm gonna tell you right now you ain't gonna make me do something Especially what I know. But without going too deep into it, because I already know what time it is. So look, man, we out of here, Sketchpad. You know what it is. See y'all. Peace. Bye. <laughs>